Goodbye, My Island by Jean Rogers. Chapter 11. I wrote in the school log every Friday as Marie asked me to. February 7. A big day this week, the U.S. Navy icebreaker Burton Island arrived. Everyone on King Island watched the big ship ram into the ice to get closer to the shore. The Burton Island comes every year. We dress up, greet her, trade our ivy carvings for candy and cigarettes. The Burton Island has a doctor and cigarettes. The Burton Island has a doctor and dentist. Teachers lined up everybody to be examined. We all were invited to see the big movie about cowboys. Then the men on the ship passed out cake and bananas, apples and oranges. Everyone got some before the ship left. Big day. February 14. Everyone has a cold. We all are sneezing and coughing. It is always so after the Burton Islands visit. Teacher explained to us about germs, but not everyone believed her. Ruth was the sickest. She said a bad spirit got her, but she was too tough for it. She feels better now. February 28. The longer days come fast now. There are many walrus, more than in the last few years. Everyone is happy about that. There was very bright sun for many days. All the school has been sliding on our sleds. We start behind the schoolhouse and go clear down to the shore ice under the house around the umiak. We go fast, fast. March 6. Teachers showed slides on toothbrushing. A toothbrush danced up and down every, over teeth all by itself. It made us laugh. Everyone got a new toothbrush. Everyone wanted a red one. Bits of the red handle make the best lures for bullhead fishing. It stormed for three days this week. March 27. Everyone wonders if the whales will come soon. No hunter has seen a polar bear this year. Teacher Roger wants very much to hunt polar bear. Siluk says there are fewer polar bears every year now. Nat drew pictures of a walrus hunt on the blackboard. He drew hunters all in a line with their guns pointed at a walrus on a big ice cake.